dark and mysterious. Black leopards, or black panthers, have captured our collective imagination throughout centuries. Bahira, the black leopard from Rudyard Kipling's Jungle Book, was a popular character. However, the term black panther includes any wild cat with a black coat. Black leopards are often found in the dense forests of Southeast Asia, although individuals have been recorded in African countries as well. There have been occasional reports of black leopards in Sri Lanka. What differentiates them from normal leopards is its jet black coat, which is a result of a condition called melanism. Other than that, it belongs to the same Sri Lankan leopard subspecies known as Panthera pardus cortia. In 2020, a rare black leopard got caught in a snare and succumbed to injuries, which sent shockwaves throughout the community. On the border of the Sinharaja Forest Reserve in southern Sri Lanka, two black leopards were also killed from snares in 2009 and 2013. A study conducted in 1982 calculated the overall leopard population to be less than 1,000 in the country, which has been around the same range that's inferred today. Experts believe that out of this population, only 3 to 4 percent are black leopards, but there's no precise black leopard count so far. But what about the history of black leopards in Sri Lanka? Back in the 16th century, when King Rajasinka I was doing his inspections, he was attacked by a black panther. The next record comes from historian Robert Knox in the 17th century. Knox states that there was a black leopard in a private zoo that belonged to King Rajasinka II. Later in the 18th century, colonial secretary Sir James Tennant mentions in his book Ceylon about a rare variety of leopard found in various parts of the island, whose skin was uniformly black instead of being spotted. He also writes that Europeans wrongly referred to the Sri Lankan leopard as cheta, even though true cheetahs never existed in the island. In neighboring India, cheetahs known as hunting leopards that were mostly kept in captivity for hunting existed till the late 1940s. Even though the last three Asiatic cheetahs were killed by a Maharaja in 1948, there were occasional sightings even later. By 1952, the cheetah was declared extinct by the government. Interestingly, Samuel Baker wrote in 1855 about two existing species of leopards in Sri Lanka, the cheta and the leopard or panther. He stressed that the local chetas were different to the true cheetahs found in India as they were a smaller species of leopard peppered with round black spots instead of rosettes. But if Baker wasn't referring to the true cheetahs, what smaller chetas was he talking about? It could be assumed that Baker got confused with a fishing cat, which are often mistaken for juvenile leopards. But his physical descriptions of the smaller chetas do not match the fishing cats, since their coloration and markings are different from leopards. In 1852, naturalist E. F. Keller mentions in his book that the natives distinguished two varieties of leopards, a larger and a smaller kind. Adding fuel to the confusion, Hugh Neville writes in a journal from 1887 that native hunters on the borders of southern and eastern provinces informed him of a rare cat, smaller than the leopard, referred to as the rat diwi or red leopard. Neville made the assumption that it could be the Asian golden cat, which was found throughout Southeast Asia. But with its shorter tail and sparse markings, the jungle cat may be a contender for the red leopard. It's also interesting to note that strawberry leopards with a red coat have been spotted in South Africa. With regard to leopard color variations, Leonard Wolfe, who was based in southern Sri Lanka at the time, made an entry in his diary about a white leopard that was haunting a village in 1909. But once he got there, the leopard was already shot. Decades later, an intriguing and obscure encounter with a black leopard is mentioned by Trevor Lebroy in his book Jungle Lure. It mentions a hunting trip to a village called Sitarama down south during the 1950s. While walking along a jungle trail at night, Trevor heard a rustling sound. 
he immediately squatted and directed his torchlight at the sound. In the darkness, he saw a pair of eyes staring back at him. It belonged to a leopard. Trevor quickly fired, but only later did he realize that he had shot a rare black leopard. Trevor reproduced the picture of the mounted black leopard in his book. But from the look of it, the animal is not all black, apart from a few patches around its neck. But online sources claim that with time, mounted species of black leopards are prone to fade, giving the impression of chocolate brown leopards or red leopards. Trevor also writes of a leopard he once shot which weighed over 110 kilograms, with pictures to prove it. It's also said that black leopards are more fierce than normal leopards, especially in African countries. But in Sri Lanka, there have been few cases of man-eating leopards, let alone black ones. In 1924, this leopard, now stuffed and on display at the National Museum of Colombo, killed around 12 people in a rural village called Punani. To date, it's Sri Lanka's most notorious man-eater. Further down south in a coastal village called Kumari, a leopard killed several people before it was shot down in 1936. Nearby, another leopard targeted people in the 1950s during an annual pilgrimage through national parks in the south. In 1954, there was this uh, guy called Zainuddin, who was an uh, assistant game ranger at Yala Park. And when I was doing some work for the department, and I spent some time at the Mahasil of a bungalow, Zainuddin came and uh, spoke to me about a certain matter. And then I casually mentioned to him and said, uh, there was another man-eater in uh, Sri Lanka, somewhere near Yala. Then he said, he's the one who investigated that. And he gave me the whole picture. There is a pilgrim route that comes from uh, Batiklo, that comes from Potuville, like that, all to come to the Kataragama uh, shrine. Uh, and that's called the Padayatra. And uh, there was this, uh, the first vic official victim had been a guy called Kumaravel, who was bathing at, uh, in the well at Pottana. And uh, he had been killed and eaten by this leopard. And that's how he officially became Pottana man-eater. The camp moved from Pottana to Udupottana, and then the, the killing stopped. Interestingly, a diplomat named Philip Crow wrote in 1957 that a female leopard killed 15 pilgrims in 1945 before it was shot down by a guard of the forest department. Yet it's questionable how such a case of man-eating didn't receive much publicity. With regard to black leopard sightings in the 20th century, a former director of the wildlife department, S.D. Saparamadu, mentions four sightings. One, a black leopard was killed in 1943 in Rambuka. Two, a black leopard was spotted at Yala National Park in 1939 by a game guard. Another black leopard was seen at Okanda by the same guard in the 1950s. Four, a skin of a black leopard was recorded by a game ranger at Mona Rogala in 1946. Also, in 1972, Venerable Ananda Siri Thero, a forest monk, mentions in a bulletin that black leopards are also found in the Kurumbingala area. Interestingly, most of these sightings are concentrated in the dry zone. This is contrary to the belief that black leopards weren't reported in the dry zone as much, since the theory is that the darker environs of wet zone forests assist the black leopards to survive and reproduce. Nonetheless, the recent black leopard death highlights the need for greater conservation, with more stringent measures taken to safeguard not only Sri Lanka's rare species, but its whole biodiversity. <laughs>